Hi guys. At the time of this recording, it's Christmas Day. We had Christmas early with our daughter and my son is in Washington, so we can't see him at, at, on Christmas. Um, I thought I would just do a really quick, oh, oh, hopefully a really quick acrylic pour. I'm going to do a straight pour. I um, spray painted my label black. I put some tape on the back and then I put some of the that wood putty in there and I let it dry. And now I'm going to get my cup. Sorry about that. All right, I got a cup. Um, I think this holds like four ounces. I can't remember. 100 milliliters. So, I've got a bunch of colors here. I've got Payne's Gray from Golden's. Um, do I have the bottle? This is all I could afford was this little tiny baby. <laughs> and then in this one, I used Prussian Blue, a dab of black, and a dab of... Um, folk art thicket so I get this deep I don't know what you'd call it it's a deep na it's a navy but it's not a true navy it's a kind of a muted color I just wanted some interest and I've got sap green I think this is going to dry much thick uh, darker because I put so much flow troll in it phthalo green um, the blue and the green are from Grumbacher, Liquitex Basics, Deco Art Gold in the big metallic pot, and some rose gold, same pot from Deco Art. I've got just Hobby Lobby white paint with a big dollop of satin enamel white satin enamel there is something in there I don't want that in my pour flow trout I haven't added any water yet I well I'm not going to this is the thickest I've ever done and this is color shift purple flash and artist loft metallic purple So, let's get started. I'm going to uh, put some white in here. Ooh, that's probably too much. And let's go with the Payne's Gray. And we'll go with this shade of navy. Let's put a little bit. No, let's do sap green. Just a little bit. I don't want a whole lot. And then, ugh, a little bit of white. I hope this turns out good. I've never done a painting this thick before. I've always had, um, I don't have any gold in here yet. A bit away. Oop, that got away from me. 
The sad part about this now is this is all going to be on top. Well, I got lots of paint. We can just do it over. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's really thick. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Lots of paint, but it's all good because I'll just scrape it and put it into one of these containers because I have lids for these. And then I can use it as a background. Just going to spread this out so that my paint will flow over the paint. If you don't do this and there is a dry surface when you start pulling or tipping your paint, it will roll over on itself and if you want that that's fine but I don't I want to keep as much design as I can oh don't do that Now, this white paint that I just poured around the outside edge is um, thinner than this. Look, isn't that pretty? I'm going to torch this really quick. I don't want to tip yet. Let it sit for just a sec. Pop the air bubbles. Because I just made the paints up like an hour ago. Looks like that's it. Let's get this right up to the edge here. Let's see if we can keep it round. not shifting I like to keep as much of that gold as I can. That's really pretty. Wow. I don't, don't, no, no. 
We're going to lose that pretty purple. Okay, let's get this back in the middle. Now we'll come back and get I don't want any negative space as far as white goes. I got too much paint. Let's see. Let's go take this part off and see what happens over here. Let's take it back to the center. And then we will torch it and look at it again. Rip off my gloves so that I don't uh, get paint all over my torch. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. That's not what I had in mind. Okay, that's it for the Navy. Payne's gray. A little green in this flat purple flash. We do cop let's do gold first. Rose gold. Did I call this copper? This is rose gold. Sorry, guys. Come on. We didn't do the sap green, so we got to get some of that in there. Okay, let's see. Not very steady.
All right, let's torch. I like this, the green and gold and the blues. That was really pretty, but that center was not. So we're going to torch the bubbles again. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at what is that? I've never had that happen before. I hope I don't lose it. Get rid of some of that green. Oh, okay, yes, we'll get rid of this side. Oh, let's go this way, back to the middle. Not too far. Open up these things here. And I just decided that that green is not part of the composition anymore. We'll just leave just that little tiny bit right there. Mm. Ah! <laughs> ah, I just scared myself after that. Now I got to get that off there down there. Please don't ruin my center. Okay. Now we'll center this back and hopefully... Very cool. I don't know what, how that uh, lacing occurred. That's really strange. This is just this is just paint and Floetrol, um, and that satin enamel in the white. Very very strange. Very cool. Take off my gloves and torch it one more time. And then we'll go down for a close-up. I know that there's a lot of uh, blue space in there, but I like that. I like that negative look. Okay, here we come in. Look at the colors. Can you see that shimmer? With that rose gold and and uh, 24 karat gold. Look at the stripings in there, the striations. Love that right there. That's so cool. Look at the veining. I don't don't know what caused that. I've never used goldens before, so maybe that's what it is. 
Okay, I will uh, show this once it's dry in another video. Thank you guys for joining me. Happy holidays to you. See you next time. Bye.